Good morning, guys. We're going to look at section 8.2 today um, on relative frequency and probability. Uh, first, you need to know what uh, relative frequency is. Uh, today, we're going to look at uh, two column or two column uh, frequency. So, we're going to look at this example right here. Uh, you're going to have two main categories, main, source, news, and gender. So on the left side, we're going to have male and female, or female and male in this case. Uh, and you're going to have sources of news from the internet, TV, radio, print. On the right side column, you have the total of all the male and female. And the bottom row, you have all the totals of each categories of news source. And in pink, you have the grand total. Basically, there are three types of uh, relative frequency we can look at. The first type is called marginal relative frequency. Marginal means you look at the frequency on the margin. So on the table, margin is usually talking about the one that's furthest on the edge. So you're talking about the bottom row and the right column. So the blue and the yellow. So in this case, if you look at this, it says, what is the marginal relative frequency of people get their news from TV? So basically you look at the total TV, which is 13, divided by the grand total, which is 50. 13 divided by the grand total. The next thing you're going to look at is something called joint relative frequency. Joint means to combine. So here in this case, it says, what is the joint frequency, I'm sorry, what is the joint relative frequency of males who get the news from TV? So it has to be male and it has to get the source from TV. So let's see, on the TV, male, you have seven. So it will be seven out of the grand total of 50. That's joint relative frequency. Anything in green divided by the grand total, which is in pink or red. The last type is called conditional relative frequency. Here, you're looking at certain condition. The condition is you have to be male and TV, but it has to be in the condition of only TV source. So how do you know? Let's read the question. What is the conditional relative frequency of a person getting news from TV? So that's the condition. You have to be getting the news from TV, given that the person is male. So on the TV, okay, you have to be male. So on the TV, you have to be male. So it will be 7. And the total of t male is 25. Once again, it has to be TV and it has to be male. So the total male is 25. So it's 7 out of 25. Let's look at the bottom. So here you're going to have three different examples. You're going to try it and hear the answers for it. If you have any questions, let me know.